black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what up, world? We're gonna do a uh, nice little chit chat mukbang here. Uh, quite late at night, just procured some bags. We have in here a spaghetti and a mitabala. And then in here, that was Russian, I think? Anyways, bad at accents. In here, in this brown log, there's another brown log, a toasted brown log called garlic bread. I'm terribly excited for this. So, because this is loud, the next shot you'll see is everything ready. I know I said everything ready, I lied, because I want you guys to see the unveiling of this in this little pot pie type thing, but you can see that steam coming off. Now see that, ladies and gentlemen, that is quality delivery, okay? I'm gonna take this out. I'm not gonna make you guys sit through that, so give me a sec. I quite literally just dumped it over. There she is. Let's get to the loaf. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love you so much, I love you, Mr. Loaf. Look at this guy. He's steaming too, nice little baguette action. Just perfect, guys. So we're keeping it nice and chill. So I'm extremely excited for this because in my life, in my world, on my channel, spaghetti pasta doesn't get enough play, really. And uh, I just finally had a crave for it, so I'm like, let me hit it, let me hit it. Before we do the, anything too crazy, we do need to get a thumbnail. And I'll make it so you guys don't have to also sit through that as well. All right, let's get to this. I'm so excited. Nice and steamy hot. I have procured the thumbnail. We are good. Look at that. Got a meatball in the bite. I got them to add mozzarella cheese and green olives as well. So I wanted a little extra kick, but she's piping get to her. We're halfway between an ASMR and a mukbang today. I just feel like being a little more chill. Okay. All right. I see you. I'm picking up what you're putting down, Mr. Spaghetti. The reason I, I like spaghetti videos is this right here, like just that craving of watching the twirl. And then at the end when it all kind of work, works out. But in this scenario, we're gonna get Mr. Loaf involved. Maybe we'll just do it like this. Doesn't garlic bread just make everything better? Like garlic bread is like so the truth. Those green olives are absolute fire. The meatballs, they have a good little like like fennel seedy type taste. I don't know why, but I wanted some pickled, something pickled with this. So I got pickled onions. But the meatballs definitely have that, here I'll show you one, you guys know what I mean. Definitely that like freezer, freezer meatball, you know? Like a party, like Christmas party meatball. Kind of stiff, very processed. Mm. That sweet pickled onion goes nice.
very very nice I'm into that big time so let's load up a little bread boat bite with a pickled onion that's the truth Yeah, this is hitting for sure. The sauce is good. I like the sauce. Not too sweet, not too acidic. And the fact that I got them to add cheese. Making it a little more like creamy, you know? found it kind of, kind of comedic how like bread and pasta go together it's like how many carbs does one need in one sitting you know it's just a disaster it's a trap a delicious trap nonetheless it's actually my second time trying this place it's called Papa CEO or Papa Chio maybe I don't know Italians say things weird sometimes but um when my sister was in town a couple weeks back we got back from Wonderland and we ordered pizza and it looked seemed like a good option so we ordered it and the pizza is like properly on point I almost got that tonight, but I thought to myself, you know what, I've done pizza on the channel, I have barely have ever done, you know, spaghetti or things like that. So let me go ahead and do that, because their track record with the pizza had proof of their quality. My only thing here with this is just the meatballs, step your meatball game up, you know? If you're gonna do like an authentic place like this, don't use freezer balls. It's not that hard to make your own meatballs. To take your food up to that next, just that next step, you know? Also, shout out to you that uh, everybody that talked about like on the catfish wing video like you guys will get your money back like make a stink like you know get your get your just do off that so I did and the credits from that paid for this so I kind of got like a little two for one but a sketchy two for one where maybe I shouldn't have eaten the wings if you haven't seen that wing video go watch it it's like two videos ago, videos ago I got catfished by a fake wing stop and you guys raise a good point <laughs> those wings could have been really sketchy but in my head I was like I don't know they look fine I still want to eat them So I did. And I'm fine. And I'm here. By the grace of the sketchy wing gods. <clears throat> your man's favorite. Your man, your girl, your... 
I was supposed to say your, your girl's favorite YouTuber made it out alive. Made it out alive. But probably really your man's favorite YouTuber because I looked at my analytics and like my my demographic is like seventy five percent dudes. A lot of dude watchers, but lots of women in the comments, I'd say more than more than the dudes. But shout out to my lady viewers. I love y'all equally. You might have just heard how much it fuck, like messes with the video, but the fridge just kicked on. I have a fridge back there. And for mukbangs, I don't mind leaving it plugged in, but for the ASMRs, I have to I have to unplug the fridge, and then in this closet, there's like the like the water heater and the AC and that, so I have to like turn that system off every time I do an ASMR video. But then my forgetful self forgets to plug and flick everything back on. So like tomorrow there's no hot water starting the day. I've screwed myself on that a few times. And then also I've gone to like go in the fridge the next day over here and it's like there's no light on. I'm like, wait, what? And then I look in the back, I'm like, oh yeah. And I'm like, I just left the fridge unplugged all night. Was super great for everything involved especially in the freezer good job hoodie good job mmm this meal this one for the history pages Perfect amount of food. Not to wear like I feel gross or anything. I feel perfect. And you gotta get this last sauce with the breaded nub. Mm mm. I'm so thankful for that meal. That was that was great. That's what I call flawless victory. Your soul is mine. Mortal Kombat. My dude audience will probably get that. I'm not saying the girls didn't play it either, but come on, you know. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Okay, to the next one. I say Fu Man Chew My Beard. You know what to do. You gotta eat good. Live well. And stay true. Peace.